Spirit of Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the living God. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the living God. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the life of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom let it rain. Let the weight of your glory, let the weight of your glory, let the weight of your glory,
for we do not see your face and but we only see your face god we want to know you we want to see you reveal your glory in this place for we do not seek your hand come on help me we only seek your face we only seek your face we want to know you we want to Oh! 
We just took communion through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor the I am. I to honor I am. For your name is holy, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord. 
Lord, oh 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 Lord, Come on and fall. He's here, he's here. So what you gonna do? I choose to bow in the presence of the Lord. I choose to bow before the Lord. He's here, he's here. God, I bow before you, Lord. Oh, King, oh, King, oh, King. Oh, 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 oh. Let the weight of your glory fall. Fall We do not seek your hand. We only seek your face because we want to know you. We want to see you reveal your glory in this place. God, we do not, we do not seek your hand. Oh, we only, only seek your face. We want to know you. We want to see you reveal your glory in this place. So. You're good. You're good. I 
told y'all last night this was going to happen. There's a manifestation breakthrough happening right now. Already occurring. No man preach this down, preach this in. The Holy Ghost and the anointing in the music, in the people. I'll pour, I'll pour. I'll pour, I'll pour. I'll pour, I'll pour. I'll pour, I'll pour. I'll pour. I'll pour, I'll pour. I'll pour. I'll pour, I'll pour. I'll pour. Manifesting pour out the oil of anointing. Yokes are being destroyed. The oil of anointing. Healing is coming forth. The oil of anointing. Yeah! Outpour, outpour. Holy Ghost, outpour. Outpour, outpour. Holy Ghost, outpour. The outpour, the outpour. The Holy Ghost, outpour. Yeah, the outpour, the outpour. Holy And the Lord says, son, I'm pouring out on you. I'm stirring in you anew. Be about my business. For I am manifesting. And as I manifest, you shall know of a truth. And you shall go forth unabated, unhindered. For in this hour, you receive the outpour. I'll pour, I'll pour, Holy Ghost, I'll pour, healing, yeah, the outpour, the outpour, hey, oh, the outpour, the outpour, pour out, 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 pour out. Yeah, I'll pour the alcohol. Pour And I stir from the north. I stir. Pour out from the throne of God. Manifest, manifest. Rikunoro, the outpour. Yes, there it is. All the hey, hey. the outpour, the outpour. Holy Ghost. Outpour, outpour. Holy out. 
Manifesting, manifesting, manifesting favor, favor, being poured out. is in the blood the blood of Jesus 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 the blood the blood plead the blood stirring The Holy Spirit demonstrating what manifestation of the divine looks like. I describe to, to you the anatomy. I describe to you the characteristics. But the Holy Spirit bears witness of himself with the outpour. Of the Holy Ghost manifesting, manifesting, manifesting. Yeah. Manifesting, manifesting. Folks are getting delivered right now. Healing is manifesting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Outpour, the outpour, the outpour, the outpour, the outpour, the outpour. sound the trumpet in Zion you shall sound the victory and many shall hear thereof and run to the victory and the sound that you make shall not only be a sound of victory for those that come but it will literally be the sound of victory brought to the house even your house even this house saith the Lord Oh, the outpour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The outpour. The outpour. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Manifesting, 
manifesting, manifesting.
refreshing. Oh, the anointing. of affliction shall be afflicted no more. For I in this day and this hour have poured out on thee a new and a fresh receiving, says the Lord. Spirit of the Lord is in this house. All you got to do, all you got to do is embrace it. Amen. This is what we're going to do. We haven't taken our tithe and offering yet. You know that, right? So I'm going to take tithe and offering. As a matter of words, we're going to take tithe and offering for the house. We want you to give generously give to the house. Then, after tithe and offering, I'm going to bring apostle back. They will minister, but not now. Then you want to prophet, prophesy again. Oh, no. I want God to, to lead them. God is going to lead them. Amen? Uh, let them be patient. They're going to come. Let them flow. That's the kind of service we like here. Go by the Holy Ghost. Amen? So, let's Get ready for a time. Have our hearts ready. Let's be in the mood of giving, of worship. You know that giving is worship. We use our offering time to worship God, to honor God. Yes, indeed, 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 indeed. Glory to God. Right? And offering. That's right. Come to the house. That's right. To the house of the Lord. That's right. The anointing that you give into, the anointing that you receive, is the anointing that you give into. Amen. Amen. If you need envelope, I think our usher envelope. Right here, right here. You want an envelope there? Or you want to give online? You can give online. Uh, can, uh, cash app. Yeah. You've got that sign in the last in line. CC is on the screen. Also, our website in the last in line. Let's hug. Been blessed in this ministry. This gives us to continue to do the work of yeah, the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And as you give, the Lord will bless you. It's a divine exchange. It's a divine exchange. When you honor God, you receive back from God. Ah, ah, Amen. Ah, ah. There is a, ah, there's, a there, there, there's a corporate anointing. There's a corporate anointing here today. I see it. Corporate anointing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, apostolic prophetic. Yes. That's why we work together. Yes. Prophet and apostle. Yes. That's yes. why we work yes. together. Yes. See yes. my finger? Mm. You mm. see this? There's an apostle. Mm -hmm. You see beside? It's a prophet. <laughs> apostle and prophet work hand in hand. You see how they flow? That's how we flow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh -huh. They work hand in hand. And this finger, you see, I use two hands. Don't tell me I'm using, giving you finger. It's <laughs> the longest one. You know what that means? Evangelism outreach, is the longest outreach. Bring them in. Then another thing you will observe. You see this? That's what? Pastor. Pastor and teacher. Go hand in hand. 
If you are a pastor, you must have teaching anointing. Five-fold ministry. Amen. Five-fold. But in most cases, when you do this, don't let me go. Take off. When you do this, you know what that means? Apostle, most apostle have the grace to function in the five. The apostle hold everything together. Thank you, sir. You know where I'm going. Amen. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Um, um, mine said that anybody remember when I said that God said I, I saw chain falling off and we should we should she literally and she sees very clearly in the spirit God is really raising up um I call her little Maya. <laughs> Amen. And she said she came and she said, I see literally I see angels dragging, picking up and dragging chains away. She saw angels picking up, that's right. Picking up chains. Amen, somebody. So now why, Korabasaya, in this kind of anointing, you don't you don't need to be taught to be te- to be talked to. This is the anointing that you give into. This is the anointing that you seed into. This is the anointing. My God, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a corporate anointing. It's a corporate anointing. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Are we ready to give? You yes. have your giving. Amen. If you give online, just come and touch the basket with your phone so we know you've given. Then I will bring Apostle back to move forward. Amen. Amen. Heavenly, Fa- and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this offering, this tithe, even the ones that are, have decided, well, you know what, I, 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 this is good soil and I, I need to put a, rabo, a seed in the soil. Father, I thank you. For them all, my God, the tithers, the, the cedars, glory to God because they see the anointing and they're following after it. My God, according to your word, that when you see the anointing, you follow after it and they're following after it, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask that you were blessed in the name of Jesus and I thank you again for the ones, my God, that says, listen, this is no ordinary anointing. I gotta put it. I gotta put, my God, my best into it. Father, I give you glory, honor, and praise as it is blessed for the furtherance of your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Amen. If y'all just give me 10 minutes, I can do it. Just 10. That's all I need. 10 minutes and I can get it done. I'm going to share some things with you. This is the time to be about your father's business. Because when God manifests, God manifests with purpose. I gave you on Friday the anatomy, the characteristics, the attributes of a manifestation, what it looks like, what it, what it, what, how you can identify it, how it resonates in you. And I, I want today to, to let you know that divine manifestation has expectations. God is moving with purpose, with an expectation. I know my plans toward you, that they are good and not evil, to bring you to what? An expected end. God has expectation because of the purposes of his plan. And because of the purposes of his plan, God is saying to us, as I manifest, now I expect you to be about my business. Now, God it, 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 God's offense is his defense. Come on. Holler. God, when God is, it is being who he is, his glory, his, his power is going forth in such a degree that none dare uh, offend and none have a defense against him. So God's offense is his defense. God ain't backing up from nobody. You know, God ain't fending off nobody. You know, it wasn't no fight with the devil over heaven. The, the Jesus said, I seen him fall as lightning. Man, that lightning go, boom, click, it's over. It's over. All right? And so God's power, his glory, is his offense. And so divine manifestation advances the prominent place of purpose impact. In other words, the impact in you becomes more prominent and purposeful 
as you do what you are told. As you stir the gift, the gift becomes more prominent. As you stir the gift, the gift becomes more powerful. And so what God is saying, and, and I'm not going to be long because the Holy Spirit had already preached this message by demonstration. Come on. I mean, I knew it when I was sitting over there. Uh, you know, I said, wow, it's going to be like that, huh? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And we literally told them last night the music was going to get people healed and it was going to begin to overshadow uh, them and it was going to have an impact as they was playing. So I wasn't surprised by that either. Amen. Because see, God got to get the preacher ready so he don't get out of line. Saying stuff like, oh, I need to preach. No, I don't. I don't. No, no. Uh-uh. I don't want to get in God's so I'm going to give you some acronyms uh, so to help you easily remember uh, prominent advancement purpose impact. One is divine assistance process, D-A-P. Now, you know, in the world, when they give you some DAP, it's a sign of respect, okay? Uh, uh, you know, God is saying, if you want to DAP me, if you want to get what I need you to do is be willing and obey for the divine assistance process. So the divine assistance process, uh, uh, DAP will supply and aid your destiny. It supplies and aids your destiny. Number two is RAP, Resource uh, Accountability Purpose. When God gives you something, you have a responsibility to the resources that God has given you. If I were to go to the book of Matthew, I don't have time, uh, uh, 25, the parable of the talents, you would see that God expected a return of investment. And somebody said, oh, that's just in the spirit. Now, you read that good. He said, you could have put my money out to usury. Read it. Because folk be the, oh, that's spiritual. No. God is saying, the resources I give you, you have a responsibility to kingdom with the resources for purpose. It's the wrap. App. Access. Uh, place. A purpose. If you want to get into your place of purpose, your prominent place of purpose, there are some things that need to happen for you to get that access. You uh, app proper applications will empower your faith and produce fruit by demonstrated application. Faith without works is dead, but faith with works brings increase. So RAP establishes godly principles pertaining to his purpose. App uh, uh, empowers your faith producing fruit by application. Then there's TAP. TAP will allow you to tap into the power of God. That's what we saw here today. People tapping into the power of God. Tapping into the power of God. At first, it was, people didn't know it was, it was a little slow. But once God started moving and people started tapping in, then people trusted the tap in. You see what I'm saying to you? I'm saying trust the authentic protocols of God. Trust what God says in his word about what he will do for you and then lay hold of it, your trust. He said that in uh, third chapter, uh, uh, Proverbs uh, uh, 4 and 5, uh, lean not to your own understanding, trust in the Lord in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So trusting is very important. The authentic protocols of God are self-evident truths that produce according to the protocol. The next one is MAP, M-A-P, mature uh, uh, acknowledgement of the process. See, when, when we are infants, we don't want to acknowledge the process. When we're infants, we want milk. We just want milk. Milk is easy. You, you ain't got to chew. You ain't got to digest. You just put your head back and let it run down. And when it get real good to you, you can just, you know, uh, <laughs> and milk is easy. But mature acknowledgement 
of progress, that's to say, if I'm going to progress, I got to have meat, strong meat. Come on. Meat is for the strong. Come on, so meat involves some chewing. It involves some breaking down. It, 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 you got to, you got to, I watched Apostle last night with a steak. He was working with it. He had, you know, he couldn't just put that steak in his mouth and just be gone. He, I, 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 I watch it real close. He carved that thing down to the bone and, you know, what nothing left but the bone. And, and he said, I said, I was like, show me what you're working with. Cause he, he, he was handling that, he was handling that steak, boy. Uh, but me, strong meat is for the strong, for the mature. For the mature. So when we operate as, as mature, uh, uh, a property uh, of God, and we are the property of God, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and those who dwell in it. So you just might as well get used to the fact that you God's property. You know, you know you're, you're not your own. You've been bought with a price, Jack. Come on, you need to understand that. See, when people understand they've been bought with a price, they get a little bit more humble. You know, when you when you when you think, oh, I got this, this is me, this is me, mine, I mine. No, 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 no. Jack, you've been purchased. Come on. You better recognize. Come on. And so the the mature acknowledgement of progress means that now I'm able to to demand strong meat, strong meat applications, and to test and approve the process. Come on. How do you know you can handle the strong meat? You already ate it. Come on. That's how you know. Come on. You, you ate it. You know, you know, sitting on your plate, you tell me, I can handle this. I can handle this. I can handle this. I can't handle this. You know, meat going to take a process. Milk doesn't take a process. That's why so many Christians just want to stay in the milk stage. They, some of them, if you let them, they'll just be on Similac from now on. You know, they just, oh, this is good. This is good. We out of Similac. <laughs> Pat, P-A-P, is a prominent accompaniment of the presence. The presence of what? Of God. The accompaniment of the presence of God gives you an assurance and a confidence that I can do all things in Christ that strengthens me. So the path will be the constant awareness of the word of God and his will and his presence, then you know he'll never leave you or forsake you. Just got a few more minutes. And then finally is cap. Everybody need a cap. Come on, somebody. Cap is, is the covenant alignment positioning. You hear me say divine alignment brings strategic increase. If you get out of line, you dislocate it. Now, you can have a dislocated shoulder, and it'll just hang there. You got an arm, you got a shoulder, but ain't nothing happening. You know, you can put it in your coat, and don't nobody know you look good. But if, but if you say, reach me that glass over there, they'll be like, because it's dislocated. They want to. So many times, folk in the process are dislocated, which means there's no power. They don't have the power. They don't have the reach because it's dislocated. And so covenant alignment allows that power. The cap will ensure divine alignment and guidance for strategic placement. You won't be out of place in the things of God. You'll be right where you need to be in the things of God. And so we see in Proverbs 2, 5 and 8, he talks about understanding knowledge and wisdom out of the mouth of God, the sound wisdom of the righteous. Uh, uh, God preserves uh, the righteous with sound wisdom. And God offensively is speaking and showing up in his glory. And that is all the defense he needs. 
His offense is his defense. So God, the Bible says in the 19th chapter of Revelation, right around that 15th verse, that God fights with the uh, words of his mouth, the sword. He's going to put down them last enemies with the word. You know, God ain't getting in the ring with nobody shuffling around and sweating. He's he going to say, he, they're going to come running up there and he said, let fire come down. It's over. <laughs> they're going to be telling we're going to get you, God. It's over. It's over. God speaks a thing and it is so. And so we need to know and understand that the how God works, how he manifests, Gideon principle. You, you got to identify who you are and know who you are. If you got to fleece him, fleece him. Do something. Don't just be scared and not doing nothing. Soon as you recognize you're scared, do something. Because you don't want to be scared forever. You know, you know, but you know, you find out what I got to do to be not to be scared. You know, uh, on a football field, you know, you you, you find out what you got to do not to be scared. Is you 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 got to mount up and hit the biggest thing out there, and 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 and. And, and and when it happens, act like it wasn't nothing. Although you'll be seeing stars at the time. <laughs> you know, you, I ain't telling you about something I heard. You know, you're hit with everything you got and say, what? And can't see nothing. But that will eliminate your fears. It's like I did it and I didn't die. I didn't die from the hit. And now, folk ain't trying. Because as soon as you find somebody that's scared, everybody want to hit them. Because they know it's not going to be hurt them. You know, and that's what, you know, ain't nobody trying to get hurt. Come on. So here it is. It's a situation where Gideon said, I'm the least. My family is the least. I'm hiding out now. I'm running in case you don't know. I do this every year. They do that, I do this. I've been scared all these years. And the angel of the Lord gave him a new identity. Gideon, thy mighty man of valor. And he went to telling him all about what his family was and all that stuff. Let me say to you that we got to get over the Gideon principle if we're going to be about our father's business. When God manifested, Gideon fleeced him Gideon became a different man. Gideon, when God manifested, Gideon went and got about his father's business. He immediately started to do what God was telling him to do. So divine manifestation is a defense, is a divine defense, that is a divine offense that is in effect is the defense. And then you move accordingly. The word is the manifestation of the power of God in action. It's a good fight. Faith is a good fight. That's why I was saying fight, fight. Uh, we fight the good fight of faith and it's a good fight because we win. <laughs> and when you when you fighting and you know you winning, it's a good fight. <laughs> it's a good fight. When Ali fight, was fighting and he was winning, Oh, he went a whole nother level. He, you know, he started <laughs> mugging for the cameras because it was a good fight for him. He ran into a couple of them with Joe Frazier that wasn't so good. Wasn't too much mugging for the camera. Wasn't no shuffles. None of that. But when you fight in a good fight, there's a triumph. And there's a spirit of triumph. I'm just about uh, done. So, the good fight uh, allows us now, as we're in the manifestation, to see our Father's business. Hebrew 11 and 3, uh, the world was framed by God's speech. God, God spoke a, a, a thing and it became so. God said, let, and it happened. Let, with the word of his speech. And notice how, you know, God don't be saying a whole bunch of stuff. You know, you know how scared folks say a lot of stuff. Come on up in here with you. You want? I bet I will get you. You know I tell you what? I got Ray right now with me. They're all that talking. 
All that talking, you know he's scared. They're in the house. Don't let me call him out. Ain't nobody in there. God, God just said, let. That's all. Who should I tell him I sent you? I am. That's it. I said, tell him I am sent you. God ain't doing all that talking. He ain't doing all that talking. I I I knew I, I knew that when I was growing up. They get to talking too long. I said, oh, you don't want to do that. You don't even want to do that. Just go on, go on sit down before you get popped. Because it's it's you don't talk a lot when you're going to get busy. When we're about our father's business, don't tell everybody. Don't tell everybody what you do. What you, you know, God chose me to be the head of the business. That's right. I got a whole course of hoop to do working for me. Don't tell everybody that stuff. Don't just be quiet and do what you do. As soon as you say that, every anti hoop de doer going to show up. they going to come out the woodworks. Because you said you was the head hoop de do. That's like, right. you remember that guy in the Bible invited all them folks over to King, invited all them in to see all the glories of Israel, all the stuff they had, how expensive, and how they marvel at it. They went home, came back, and took his stuff. <laughs> took his all, robbed him, took his stuff. You, you know, I, when, when I started reading it, and I was a very young Christian when I read it the first time, I was like, you know, I don't know much about church yet. But I know a world hustle, and that ain't too smart. You know, you're inviting them over. It's like you get in the cab car in a foreign country. And you don't know how much it costs. You pull all your money out. How much is it going to be? All of that. That's how much it's going to be. Don't worry about the tip. Oh, God's business is tremendously important. So we got to be about our father's business after the manifestation parable of the talents. You had five talents. I gave them to you. You gained other five because of your discipline. Because of your stewardship. God is looking for high fidelity servant stewards. Stewards that are loyal. Fidelity. You know you had that old high five when you was growing up. Y'all, Some of y'all did. Y'all don't remember. I'm dating myself. High five was about <laughs> all that wood, you know, all that wood, all, they had all that wood and everything for, you know, just a little turntable inside. And two big speakers over there. Now, but they sold it on the fact that the range was so true and state of the art because if it hit the very, very highs, or if it hit the very, very lows, it stayed true. See my spiritual daughter here, Janae. Hey, here. You see Janae Christ? <laughs> yes, she's here. Amen. She works in y'all area. Amen. Amen. So what it is God is doing is saying to, to, to us, no matter what the difficulty, if you find yourself in high difficulty, or if you find yourself on the high range of the mountain, or if you find yourself in the valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil. Be state of the art. Keep your sound and loyalty true. High fidelity. Keeping your loyalty. You know, sometimes when people get pressed upon, they change. You know, Peter, I'll die for you. I ain't going to let you go. I'll give my life. Get you behind me, Satan. All that talking was manifesting a spirit that wasn't of the Lord. 
When it came time for the test, look at somebody and say, your test coming. Your test is coming. When the test came, Jesus said, Peter, tonight you're going to deny me Christ. I said, I will not. And I ain't getting on Peter. I love Peter because Peter did get out the boat. Everybody talk about Peter. The rest of them cats. Peter did get out the boat. I mean, he got scared after he got out, but he, at least he got out. Come on, the rest of them was out. The rest of them was out. You see Peter? <laughs> he walking. Uh-oh, oh, see, that's why he should stay. You know, they start criticizing him as soon as it happened. But what happened to that situation? When the hardship came, his loyalty changed. I don't know the man. Ain't that something? I die for you. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said that talking manifests another spirit. He had to put a little, you know, something with that. So he could know this is a righteous man. And you know he don't talk like this. So he said, let me cuss a little bit. <laughs> Let me cuss a little bit so they know I wasn't with him. The test, what you got under pressure is what you got. When that pressure hits you, you better be a man or a woman of God. They start telling you you're going in the furnace. Like the Hebrew boys. Now them boys was ready. We ain't going, we, we, we not bowing down to you, king or king. We not bowing down to you. Do what you want to. We not bowing down to you. Our God will save us. Now that was tough. But then they said, and even if he don't, we ain't serving you. <laughs> Boy, that made the king mad. King got mad. He said, he heat it up seven times harder. We going to see. And the folks trying to throw them in. Got burned up. Ooh, you know if you was if you was under pressure and you seen somebody heating the fire up and they while they was heating it up they was on the runway and they got burned up and they wasn't even in the furnace but on the way up some of y'all would have said y'all have fainted fainted <laughs> when you you wouldn't even know she was in the fire because you'd been out but God and I'm done. Is saying to you and to me, when I manifest, be about my business. When I manifest, I'm manifesting for purpose. He didn't, Jesus didn't go into that furnace with them for nothing. He didn't go in there to just say, you know, hey, hey what up? You know, he, he went in there with reason and purpose. To bring them out so everybody could see the profession of their faith was fruitful. And the Bible said they came out to promotion. The king got a revelation. A heathen king. A heathen king. It was, a, you know, it's some Christians sometimes miss it. But here's the heathen king that just got done destroying everything that they stood for. And then he said, didn't I we throw three? In and I see four, and the fourth one looked like the Son of God. How you know what the Son of God looked like? Heathen? Because in all of us, there is an innate place of the knowing of God. And he said, get them boys out of there. And anybody that say anything against Shadrach, Meshach, and their God, I'm going to kill them. <laughs> Man, look how fast he changed. You gotta stand your test. If you want to change people's hearts and mind, you're gonna have to have some courage. When God manifests, you're gonna have to have some courage. I'm gonna challenge you here today. Um, the pastor didn't know, and he he just got all in what I was gonna do all around and about it, but. But I still got to do it because it's what the Lord said for me to do. God is calling 
for an accountability seed. A seed. God expects us to demonstrate accountability. A seed of manifestation. I want as many as that will. And this is not for me. This is not for me. Whatever the, whatever the pastor, uh, and I thank God for apostle and, and prophetess of Tokyo. I, I do. We've, we become just like family. I honor them. Uh, I honor their house. Uh, just exquisite in his hospitality. I have to tell him, man, go home and get some rest. <laughs> go home and get, I do this. I know what it's like when you have a, go home and, and get some rest. I'm, I'm good. See, I'm low maintenance, you know. Real fighters, come on, they train, you know. They So when the fight comes, they ain't got to have Bucky and them, Ray Ray and them, everybody come, you know, show up. We fighting one guy. But I want as many that will. And I'm not, I'm not chasing you out, and I'm not taking a long time. As many as it will. So a seed of manifestation to stand with me. Just come right up here to the front. As many as that will. A seed of manifestation. Some of y'all got some things that y'all want God to do. Some of y'all got some things that you saying. Okay, he done manifested. What do I do now? What do I do now? How do I make it happen? I don't know how to make it happen. If I just knew what to do, I would do it. I'm telling you what to do. I'm telling you what he told me. The Lord is getting ready to expedite. You hear what I'm saying to you? He's getting ready to expedite your promotion. Oh, I, I'm telling you. God's getting ready to expedite your promotion. You might, and you, you say, but preacher's going hard. You in the furnace. I get it. I get it. It ain't no fun. And, and, and when you got, when you know, you're standing on the runway to the furnace. I get that. But God is getting ready to expedite. Yes, you're going to have to go in. See, somebody said, well, why didn't Jesus just show up on the runway and say, don't worry about it, boys. Y'all ain't going to have to go in. I got y'all. <laughs> you know, that's not the way he worked. He got to see if you're going to go in. God had to see if Abraham would obey. He had to see it. And beloved, I'm here to tell you, this is a demonstration accountability for resources. And God is going to give you a outpour. Remember when we, you, when y'all was laying around and people were shaking and folk were falling all over and songs were singing, outpour, outpour. Y'all, you know, uh, you know, see y'all have forgot already. <laughs> when God manifests like that, He's going to give you an opportunity to show the level of faith you walk in because he has already manifested. That was, that's not usual stuff. You know, folk were getting delivered. Some people got healings in their body. Some, some, some people had financial breakthroughs. Some people just, that's the, the stress and the strain that they were under. And they were relieved. I want you to get that in your hand. I don't know if you got to have an envelope or, 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 or whatnot, but I, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray. Uh, I got, I got to lay hands on my spiritual daughter here. I, I don't know when I'm going to see her again. So, uh, she's working in Washington, right? Yeah, so that's, that's close enough. <laughs> Devil is a lie. It'll come. Trying to block the oil. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna pray for for y'all, but I haven't haven't seen her in a while. And she was saying, "What night y'all gonna be preaching?" We said, "Every night." And I look for you every night. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Father, we lay we lay hands on we lay hands on our daughter Janae, Lord, for her heart is full. And she is one that loves you, even from her youth, even from her very, very early age. God, you have done great things with her. Lord, she's even world traveler uh, to China, to Japan, even even to speak all of those languages, and, and, and now to be where you are was ordained. But God said, I'm giving you now the desire. This is the season of your desire. Delight yourself in me. And I'll give you the desire of your heart. Commit your way. I'll bring it to pass. Receive it because it's done. Amen. Now I'm going to prophesy over everybody else because I don't rub most of y'all down with oil already. Anyway. And it's going to be the Lord. That, that's doing it. But like I said, I hadn't seen her in so long. I need to get some oil on her. Amen. Lord, these that are standing, God, are those that are standing, Lord, with purpose in purpose. Lord, that they came up on their own free will. We didn't, we didn't coerce them. God, even before I finished saying what I was saying, they were making their way. Because God, you have ordained this. We, we didn't give them a number because the Holy Spirit has already endowed you with that. Some five talents, some uh, uh, two talents. Uh, but God said, I'm going to increase those who understand that they are to be about their father's business. And so, Lord, these, the faithful, are coming about your business. So let them in the next 7 to 21 days begin to see the strategic increase. Begin to see the fruit. Let them begin Have you been in a studio? What you did you do so what's been, what happened as a result of you being in the studio? Have you got the feedback on that yet? Right, right. Have you been in the studio for the Lord? That's coming. That's coming. And you know what to do when you get in there. You, you, you do because you know all of the. See, we we think when we when we when God save us that we forget everything we used to know. I ain't forgot how to do nothing I used to do. My appetite just changed. You know. Peter was anointed and his appetite changed. God said, you saved now. Yes. But God sanctified all that stuff you know. Yeah. All them little, you know, strategies that you knew and all of that. Because you knew what to do and you knew the strategies. How So somebody would put you on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. God said, He's getting ready to put you on. Yes. Hallelujah. Real quick, hon. Uh, I want to tell you that you have such an anointing and such mm -hmm. a flow in your life. Yeah. I ask you if you would just get on the keyboard yeah. sometime and just play some music for me. Because yeah. sometimes I go places and they don't know how to flow, but you know how to flow. Yeah. So I just want you to just get before yeah. the Lord and say, Lord, what you want me to pray for Prophetess Johnson? And give it to me. If I have to pay a sow a seed, whatever, yeah. oh, I'll yeah, do see. it. We believe the workman is yeah. worthy of his hire. That's at right. Our, at our church. We told him in a lunch, he told him, and we came out same day. <laughs> and we came out and it was like, in there. So we know That's what right. God can do. Right. Amen. Father, the, every time I get ready to go, he said, pray for somebody else. Just hold those seeds up. I'm trying to go home. 
I, I want to go home. Yeah, he got to change. I didn't. I didn't yeah. think I was going to sweat. I'm it. sweating no, too. The Lord, the Lord told me, take a change of clothes because we, we going to work. Put your vest on because you coming out of that coat. Because sometimes when I wear this suit, I don't wear the vest. And I said, well, I'm going to just say, he said, put your vest on because you're going to work. So He was going to work. I didn't know I was yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah. So just lift those offerings up. Lord, in the next 7 to 21 days, Lord, yes, we were Lord. here before, and you yes, said divine Lord. alignment for strategic increase. God, and we got all kinds yes, of people that yes, contacted Lord. us. Some got houses, some were yes. booked. Uh, so many things that happened yes. in this ministry. Uh, and yes, God Lord. said, uh, greater am I going to do yes. this time. More am I going to do this time. And it's going to be a quick work. Yes. It's not going to be. And there will be many testimonies. And when it happens, I don't want you to mosey up yes. front to give your testimony. I want you running. Yes. Come on. You hear what I'm saying? To the front. And the Lord said, when you run, yes. you're going to expedite and accelerate your next blessing. Yes. Come on, somebody. You're going to expedite and accelerate your next blessing. Amen. Lord, I pour out on thee, yes. even as the outpour, and even as the song yes, that was Lord. sung. Uh, Lord, the outpour and, and heaven. Yes, Lord. Lord, let that outpour rest upon them. Let magnanimous favor be their portion yes, and let Lord. them walk in the depths of it in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Even as yes, they sow, Lord. so let it be done. And let the power, the power. of the harvest yes. be increased Increase. with every yes, flow yes, Lord. of faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Bring the Lord an offering from wherever you are, and we're going home. Amen. Amen. Give, give, give apostle yes. and prophetess for Toki Pro a hand. She yeah. my prophet. Prophet. Did I call you apostle? <laughs> what did I, what did I say? Prophetess. <laughs> Pro Pro I didn't know. I'm sorry. Amen. I, I can't say it's prophetic, but I can't say it ain't. All, all right. Just as you be obedient to the Lord. Amen. God is going to do it. Let's, uh, uh, the, let's give a hand to the glorious leaders of this house. Come on, come on. All oh, y'all can do better. You can do better. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They are shepherds who labor with compassion. This will be a house of compassion. Amen. In the hands of the apostle. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Come on. Let's bless God. Amen. 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 My voice, amen. Can we just stand to our feet one more time? We're about to dismiss, but just stretch your hands towards the Johnsons, amen. Are y'all blessed? Amen. I know I had a wonderful time. He saved the best for last. <laughs> to God be the glory. Come on, let's just pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the Johnsons, Lord, and how they poured out today. Father, I thank you. Everything that was sung today, Father God, fill them even to every song that they heard where they poured out of themselves, pour back into them. Father, we cover them in the blood of Jesus, Lord, even for the food that they eat, the waters that they drink. Use them mightily, Lord God. They might be physically drained, but Father, you're filling them up spiritually. So we thank you, Lord, for what they left here with us with a blessing. Father, each one of us sent a blessing back with them. And we thank you, Father. We give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Now, by the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us now and forevermore. And the saints of God shout.